Good morning guys, we are all packed up. I wasn't gonna go anywhere today. I didn't really have any plans to. But the morning started out right away with whining, both of them whining over silly things. They throw their milk cup in line and fighting with each other already and it just seemed like we should go get out, get some fresh air, have a change of scenery because if that's how it was starting at at like 7.30 this morning, then it's gonna be a long day. So we are packed up in the car. They've got their books and I'm not sure. I don't have any plans on where we're going. I know I'm gonna get a Starbucks. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I just go to the usual Target maybe. It's close because I don't wanna mess up with their naps either. I wanna come home and have them take naps, especially with them being like, so whiny and fighting, like we all need that. So, Target maybe, Jeff has a cold, so he's not feeling good. So we, I gave him like what I had at the house, but I think I need to just give him some old fashioned Dayquil and NyQuil. And we need some more Tylenol and uh, acid pills and kind of just to stock up on our medicine cabinet so I'm thinking Target because there's a Starbucks there and we can get a few things, look around, poop around, come home and then still be home and do our bath and nap and all that. So there we go. Thanks for working that out with me. We just talked it out. We are headed to Target. <laughs> Got my Starbucks. We're at Target. This is like amazing. There's like no one here except a million Target workers. We didn't, I didn't know it was supposed to snow today, but on our way here, it started snowing, so it's snowing outside. So I guess nobody wants to be in it. So here, little Bubba, little sister, say hi, little sister. We're just chilling, gonna get some stuff. <gasps> say hi, little <laughs> sister. So I want a crock pot again. I have that little one, like I cooked our roast in, but it's like the little one that came with the big one. Well, the big one's broke, so we got rid of that before we moved. So I have the little one, and it just says, low or high which is fine yum, um, yum. I guess these ones just say that too but anyways they it's super small as you see so I can't cook like Jeff was saying he would like if I cooked homemade applesauce again but I'm like I'm not gonna go to all that work for just that small thing so I'm looking at crock pots and I really like that one it's middle it's not huge because I feel like that would be perfect and it's super cute which is really why it entices me but then I like this one the cook and carry and serve not that I'd be bringing it anywhere, but it's on sale for 25 so it's only $5 more. And then these are fancier, so I don't feel I need those. So, do I go with that one, which is a six quart, or do I go with that one, which is four and a half? <coughs> decisions, decisions. Check out this new bottle brush by Boone. It's called the Forb, and it's all silicone. And it could be bottles and sippy cups, but I've had to throw away the, like I had this kind, the munchkin and this kind, and they got gross, so I had to throw them away. This is cool. He fell asleep three minutes before we got home. It's blinding out here. See, it actually snowed a little bit. Not much, mostly. It's still like coming down lightly, but not bad at all. So, I actually got him from car to crib. He passed out, he was tired, he did not even care. So he's gonna wake up hot because he's in his polar fleece still and his polar fleece pants and his polar fleece jacket and stuff. I managed to get his shoes off, but and I didn't change his diaper, but he didn't they didn't drink much while I was out, so we'll see. He may or may not pee through, I don't know, but I wasn't gonna fully wake him up to put him down. So he's in bed. Sydney's in the high chair having a snack while I get everything from the car in. And then when she's done with her snack, I'm gonna put her down for a nap. Just got done filming my Target haul video. Now just trying to put it all away, but I'm gonna go try to scrub the kids' bathroom before Tristan wakes up because it's already almost one and since he fell asleep around 11.30, he'll be up soon. I didn't put her uh, sitting down until like 12.30. But anywho, I found out that you can use vinegar to clean your toys. It's just as strong, or it is just as good as using bleach for your toys. So for their bath toys, I'm gonna go clean the bathroom and then I'm going to use, fill up the bathtub and do apple cider vinegar. I was just Googling to see if it's okay to use apple cider vin vinegar instead of um, the white vinegar. And yes, and so they say here on my phone, it says that 
the apple cider vinegar is basically the natural bleach. It says, best of all, cleaning your home with apple cider vinegar instead of bleach will not leave it smelling like vinegar or bleach. In fact, once the vinegar solution evaporates, it leaves behind a sweet and slightly floral scent, which is pleasant alternative to chemical smell of bleach fumes. So, for instance, instead of disinfecting your child's toys with a solution made 25% bleach and 75% hot water, try replacing the bleach with the vinegar. The toys will come out just as clean as before, and your child's room or home will not smell like bleach. So, yay! It says apple cider vinegar is the ultimate green cleaning ingredient due to its antibacterial properties. Apple cider vinegar is an all natural alternative to bleach. So if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to slowly like get out harsh chemicals and just have it be more kid friendly and safe. I hate when we scrub the kids bathroom and we'll use like a cleaner or we've had Comet and I scrub it and then like there's little granules left over or it didn't go down the drain or it's hanging by the drain and I just don't like that because they play in the bath and we'll drink the water and me so I don't mind it as much for us but I know the smells aren't good like I was spraying the countertops with our Lysol spray and Tristan was in here and he started like coughing and stuff so obviously it I mean it has a strong smell and then obviously it really is strong for them so, I don't know, I'm just trying to find more natural ways. I still know, like, things need to be disinfected and stuff, but it says that this is just as good as bleach. So, um, I'm going to give it a whirl. I've got my Honest All-Purpose uh, Multi-Surface Cleanser, and then my Green Works, and that's, like, for the toilet and the floor. So, let's go scrub that bathroom, shall we? Say hi! This little boy just woke up and it is two o'clock, holy smokes, he slept for two and a half hours. Of course, because I was trying to, or because I was cleaning, whereas if I was like trying to edit or chill out or do something, he would have been up in an hour. I'm just glad he got a good nap. But check this out, we just opened up this toy that we got from Target, it's Melissa and Doug, and it's a train and it has all the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse characters and they fit in each train. Then you can undo them if you want and do them separate so then you know like he could have one and Sydney could have one or you can take the whole thing go choo choo and he loves it I, I love Melissa and Doug they just create such good quality toys and this is something that he's gonna play with for the rest of the day now I mean look at how cute that is huh bub you like your new toy Sissy's gonna have fun playing with it too but I have a feeling that you're gonna dominate this one a little bit more which is why we got the puzzle over here too, so that way she can carry around the pieces and work on the puzzle so that there's not so much fighting, huh? Do you want me to open that too? Can you say please? Okay, baby, let's open it. Jeffy's home, obviously, and we're out at the grocery store at the Giants that I like. Right by the Target where we were earlier, but it was just too late. But check this out, I've never seen it. First off, they have bulk here, which is awesome. But check it out, you put your stuff on the scale, what's the bin number? Oh, I don't know. 807. 807. And then you say enter, and it tells you how much, and you say print. So, how cool is that? We're getting mini M&Ms. And so, 275 for all those, which we can fill up the same file from the other ones. But how cool is that? How many times have you gone, like, to get, well, out of that bulk and forever, but I remember it used to be you had those little twist ties that you would write on them and twist it around, and if you couldn't write it good or if it fell off, then it was a big deal if you could register. And here, boom, 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 I'm shocked. Pennsylvania, you're impressing me now. Oh my goodness, we have been home like an hour maybe, and we came home and I put the groceries away, and then went upstairs to give him a bath, and we were trying to put in the new bath toy that I got him from Target today and the suction cups don't suction to our tub because it's not like a porcelain tub it's a I don't even know what the material is but anyways it won't suction cup so we we're trying to figure out an alternative way to put it up and then Tristan had poop 
Jeff undressed them down here and we brought him up and just kept the diaper on and he had pooped and we knew that we were just trying to get the toy up and then get the bathtub started well somehow he ripped his diaper off and we're like gosh why does it smell poop so bad and I look down his diaper is off he's got his butt up against me so he's wiped poop all over my pants he smeared it on the like but brushed up against the wall so it was on the wall his poopy diaper luckily was still intact and like not smushed in the ground so like both Jeff and I both freaking out like oh my gosh I know so we thought that scared him so I like wiped him down and wiped everything down got him cleaned up and had, uh, had Jeff start the tub and so he started the tub and he, he put in bubble bath and he put in a, in a little much and so it was super bubbly and which is fine but we don't know what happened we put Tristan in the tub and he just started crying he was already crying from the poop so we just thought he was upset because we like screamed yelled and so we, maybe we scared him because about the whole poop situation so I told him he wasn't in trouble it's fine mommy and daddy were just surprised so we put him in the tub and he was fine for a minute and then Sydney I got her and I put her in the tub and then she just started freaking out and so like I felt it is it too hot the water wasn't too hot and so I took her out and sent her on my lap so then he started freaking out and I was so then I put her back in and I was like no you guys need to take your bath we'll just do it quick even they're both crying at me and then I look down at Tristan's leg and they're like red and blotchy so I yank him out and I tell Jeff to take her out and I'm like oh my gosh here I am telling you to stay in the tub what's wrong and his butt cheeks and his legs had like this rashy look to him something wrong with them and so I'm like oh my gosh I'm so terrible what I just like got frustrated with you and told you to stay in the tub you're taking a bath and obviously you're crying for a reason so I have no idea what is wrong we can't figure out if it was the bath the bubble bath but the bubble bath is California baby and even if you put the whole bottle in it Jeff probably put like that much in there which you don't need that much but even if you put the whole bottle in there I can't see it having a reaction it doesn't say it's anything on there so then today was the first day I cleaned with apple cider vinegar and even I mean I soaked their toys in it but they hardly had any toys in there I rinsed the tub like crazy so then he googled apple cider and said that people can be allergic or have a rash or hives from it but even if a little touch their skin I don't understand like it would have been so diluted from the tub so then I don't know if like a little of that reacted with the bubble bath or what the heck happened I don't know all I know is that I just made a ton of work between buying a new bath toy that wouldn't stick and we got frustrated with to poop everywhere to cleaning a new what I thought safer way and then we had this outbreak so both of them are scared he has soap in his hair we just He's got soap in his hair. It's just the honest company, luckily. So we just wiped it with a towel and let it dry. Neither of them took a bath. Basically, they're scared. They don't want to go back in and they love baths. So hoping tomorrow's a better day and they'll take their bath. I rinsed the tub like crazy. Um, like for 10 minutes straight and just let water go everywhere. Rinsing the walls and the tub and getting all the bubbles down. So, I have no idea. Obviously, if so it happens again tomorrow, something's wrong. Jeff thinks maybe, like, his poop. He had, uh, he had tried this chili sauce the other night. Very little he put his meat in. So, he thought, like, maybe it takes a couple days to work through the system. Maybe he had a reaction to that. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So, I feel super bad. They're upstairs with Jeff. They're finally calmed down. We barely got diapers on them because they were freaking out so bad. So, they're running around in diapers. We'll get jammies on shortly. It's bedtime in like 50 minutes. But, basically, it's been like a crazy hot mess situation happening here tonight. But I'm going to have a beer, <laughs> go upstairs, and hang out with my babes. Can you say hello? So they're happy now. Happy as can be eating blueberries and yogurt and what's that called? Pirate's booty. And they're happy. So, and he has no more rash or reaction. Jeff and I are sitting here trying to analyze the situation and figure out what the heck happened. But uh, we don't know. So we're just trying to figure out why they won't just tell us. Tristan, just tell us. Can you tell us what was wrong with you? Why won't they speak? What was wrong with you? You were, yeah, what happened? We don't know. So tomorrow's bath, we're gonna do just plain water and see what happens. See, he's happy. I mean, 
I would think if it was like an allergic reaction that I don't. They have super sensitive skin like me. We have yes. figured that out. Yeah, obviously something with his poop was acidic or something oh, from the chili sauce. Strong, so something in there got him. Yeah, we're thinking it's I the know poop now. Adult. We're thinking it's the poop now because he's never tore his diaper off. And the fact he tore it off, and Jeff said he noticed when I was wiping him that his butt and where the poop was on his legs, and obviously I had to wipe it so it probably like, spread it about before I got him in it. Oh my goodness. He just went from the top to the bottom and plopped. Um, we're thinking that the poop on him, like something in his poop was really a sick or bothered him. I don't know. And that's what caused it because it's gone down. away. Sit down. And I just think he was upset about the poop and that's why he was crying in the tub and then she was upset because he was upset and it's just a domino effect and then maybe it wasn't the bath at all. Maybe it, that wasn't it. Jeff's is laughing at me while I'm talking to you guys. Because <laughs> it probably looks crazy because I'm sitting here talking to a camera like I'm having a full conversation with a friend. But I am! With tons of friends! <laughs> <You're patient. laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> what did I do? Nothing, you were perfect. Hey, baby, hey, babe. Hey, babe, did you just call me babe? Babe, 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 babe. Yeah. Daddy said, no, babe. Is that your belly button? Babe, 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 babe. Where's your belly button? <laughs> babe, 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 babe. Baby, baby. <laughs> Good night, guys. We're going to bed. Give this video a thumbs up thumbs if you enjoyed up. it. And subscribe to my channel. See you tomorrow. Bye.